Hello there, welcome to the web news with Africa The Stories, making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, a Canadian artist sketching portraits of the country's missing Aboriginal women. Web users help fund a paraplegic man's new legs. And a US police officer getting down to Taylor Swift. Part-time illustrator Evan Monday has been sketching and inking portraits of Canada's missing and murdered Aboriginal women and posting one per day to Twitter to raise awareness of the issue and how recent statistics show that Indigenous women are four times more likely to be murdered than non-Indigenous women. His sketches have been met with mixed reactions online. While many approve of his project, saying it's raising public awareness and drawing greater media attention to a serious problem, not all social networkers are quite so in favour. The people who posted these tweets, for example, say the project is disrespectful to the victims' families. In view of the criticism, Evan Monday has since decided to discontinue the portrait series and is now encouraging web users to donate money to the It Starts With Us site, a community-run database set up to honour the lives of missing and murdered Aboriginal women. And although the portrait project has ended, a growing number of Canadians and organisations are lobbying the government to take real action on violence against Indigenous women. In a recent report, the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights, for example, has added its voice to those who are calling for a nationwide inquiry urging the appropriate authorities to address the root causes of discrimination and social and economic marginalisation. Kim Angel from Ontario, Canada started a crowdfunding campaign last month on the GoFundMe platform, asking web users to help her fiancé, Gus McCormick, who broke his back in a car accident 14 years ago, walk again. The couple had been granted funding for a reciprocating gait to orthosis, which is a brace used to help paraplegics walk, but were $3,250 Canadian dollars short. That's around €2,350. Euros. And so Kim made an online appeal. And the story touched the hearts of many. Dozens of net users have made donations. Social networkers have also been posting messages and sharing the link to the fundraising page, urging others to give whatever they can afford to help pay for what his fiancée described as Gus's magic legs. And she thanked everyone for their overwhelming support in a short video posted to YouTube. The clip shows Gus using the braces for the very first time and shows just how much the device helps him. Heartwarming stuff indeed, which will no doubt bring a smile to the faces of everyone who participated in the crowdfunding campaign. Web users in the US have been posting under the Oscars So White hashtag, commenting on the fact that all 20 of this year's Academy Awards acting nominees are white. Twitter users have been criticizing the lack of diversity, suggesting it reflects a certain racism in Hollywood. Social networkers hope their campaigning will bring about greater diversity in the prestigious awards ceremony. Italian artist Cristina Guggeri has released this very realistic collection depicting world leaders on the toilet. She's used image editing software for these comical creations, so we see Barack Obama or the Queen of England, for example, in the one place where they're normally granted a little privacy. Head to the artist's Facebook page to check out the entire series. British photographer Tom Johnson teamed up with a stylist to roam the streets of London and get random strangers to put on haute couture clothing and pose for portraits to illustrate how they made much more interesting models than those you see on the catwalk. All the photos are available to view at phoebehaines.me. A 
Officials from the Dover Police Department in the U.S. state of Delaware were reviewing their officers' dash cam videos when they came across something unexpected and decided to share it with the public. We see one of their officers singing and dancing along to the Taylor Swift hit, Shake It Off. Posted online Friday, January 16th, it racked up some 7 million views from across the globe in just two days. And you can watch this new viral sensation on YouTube.